it's one of the greatest places in the world. And when it's bad, this place is rougher than hell on earth. We have lots of wide open spaces and we run cattle. We have to ranch this country like the last rain we got was the last rain we were gonna get. To the untrained eye, you see this landscape and you think, oh, there couldn't possibly be anything living out there. But there's a lot of very unique wildlife here that have adapted to this desert environment. It's really teeming with life. What's so amazing about a desert environment like this is that you have species that have adapted over millions of years to these very specific conditions. And in the last 30 years, we've seen such rapid change that they just can't adapt quickly enough. If we don't do something to protect those remnant populations, then you know we could see species go away. The Pecos Watershed Conservation Initiative is a conservation program that we're implementing in southeast New Mexico and Texas. In the Permian Basin, energy development has grown tremendously. By partnering with industry, we're able to find opportunities to help keep the wild places wild. To achieve conservation across these different jurisdictions, we need to get everyone involved, and that's what's great about this program. We have funding from seven different oil and gas companies, the Natural Resources Conservation Service, and we have partnerships with implementers on the ground that are state agencies, conservation NGOs, wildlife biologists, ranchers and farmers. Coming together is really the only way that we can achieve sustainable outcomes for species at the scale that we're looking at. We decided to take a whole watershed approach. We're focusing on two focal areas. The first is the upland grasslands. The grassland acts as a sponge and absorbs a lot of the rainfall and brings it down into the soil. Pronghorn is a really iconic species for grassland systems. I see massive amounts of brush encroachment. The presence of the brush deters them from using that habitat. between 95 and 98% of Texas is privately owned, and so that creates some opportunities to work with private landowners. It has been very good with Texas Parks and Wildlife. It has made it possible for us to control some of the brush that we otherwise would be unable to. So consequently, you have more forage for the wildlife, more forage for the cattle, and healthier lands. And healthier lands are good for everybody. So our second area of focus in this initiative is the aquatic species. If grasslands are healthy, then the rivers and streams can thrive. There are a number of endemic species here, like Pecos pupfish, that have evolved in these conditions. They don't exist anywhere else in the world, and they are important to maintaining this ecosystem. It's the prettiest that makes this place pretty unique. I feel really good about the persistence of Pecos Puppish because we have really good working relationships with all these different agencies that care about doing conservation for the species. When landowners, oil and gas companies, and conservationists come together, it's really amazing what we can accomplish on the landscape. <laughs>